welcome to pyramid times so we are uh, sustaining by sunlight is it related to our light body nature also it's directly related yes to our light body nature because it is the light body that is perceiving and extracting and intaking that sunlight but we have to go beyond the concept of sunlight because there are countries where it's constantly raining or constantly cloudy and still people there some people are in this pranic state i am having rain for like five days now i haven't seen a, a ray of sun in in days and still i'm in, i'm in a good state i do prefer sunny countries warm weather and basking in the sun but i'm not die, dying of hunger if i'm not having that uh, it might be necessary for some people to add a little more percentage of liquid or solid food when in um, harsh uh, cold climate if they haven't been fully stabilized in pranic state but yet the food intake is not so um, much when your channels are aligned and open because it is your light body the one that i was speaking about that is tapping into the energy field and it's nourished directly from the energy field independent on how much sunlight there is that's so amazing it's enlightening as well to know all these uh, subtler realities or subtler bodies or subtler dimensions that exist and we exist uh, in coordination with them that's yeah. so amazing and it's very necessary to know your 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 system so know your energy system know your bodies you don't only have the physical body you have the emotional body you have the so first you have the etherical body you have the emotional body you have the mind body you have all these other layers that are functioning as we speak and the only thing you see is the physical body for most of people that are not clairvoyants, right? The clairvoyants see it all. <laughs> but we only see the physical body, most people, and say, oh, I'm only that. I'm only flesh and blood, and the flesh and blood needs to be nourished by external, maybe uh, physical solid food. But think of and think and learn about all the other layers of you that are made of energy that are energy systems and all of them are tapping into the energy field and are being nourished by it, you know? So your whole other systems are sustained by energy. And if you purify this system, the physical part, it will also be nourished by energy from all the other layers of you. So all the other layers of you are supporting and sustaining your physical body and they can nourish it. That's uh, truly amazing. Uh, I would also like to know more about your work. Can you speak about uh, soul healing and holistic therapy? Yes, absolutely. I love to speak about that. It's uh, my work that has been given to me since 2012, I believe, 2011, 2012. Uh, I was studying various healings modalities. So the, these things that you see behind me are like one third of the healing classes that I took. <laughs> I, I've, I've worked a lot on myself to heal myself and to upgrade myself. So I was going to all these classes. And after I went to a theta healing class twice, um, a method has been given to me that has evolved from theta healing. And it was a little more complex, a little more in depth that it was working with all the lifetimes in parallel. So not just this lifetime, but all lifetimes in parallel were being addressed from the level of the soul. And so we centered people in their self or divine self or soul. And we helped them with a, with a guided meditation at the beginning of the session to center deep into their soul, into their soul frequency. And from there, we start discussing their issue, whatever it is, it might be a couple, a career, a financial, a health issue, or whatever it is, a physical issue. We discuss it from that level of knowledge and uh, consciousness. And then we see all the causes through all the lifetimes where the similar issues appeared. 
And when we figure out the cause of it, whatever has caused that issue, so say you're breaking up in the same way with all your boyfriends, or you're having, like I would say, the same financial problems, no matter how rich you get, when you, you discover the cause of that pattern, you discover how you played it on and on through various lifetimes, and you can then destructure it or deprogram it. So we help them after finding the cause, we're finding the main program and we deprogram it. We replace it at the mind level with something more beneficial and at the energy level with a different frequency. So we work on both structures. We work on the physical body, the mind and the energy to change that frequency. So it's very complex and in-depth um, work that doesn't take more than one hour and a half, but it's very profound. So the session takes you from a basic day-to-day -day problem and it, it, it moves you through all the lifetimes maybe <laughs> and all the patterns and you, uh, you, you end with a very complex and in-depth understanding of how you create your life and your patterns. That's so nice that uh, you change the DNA of the people and also the belief uh, work that you do and also feelings that you download for the uh, individuals to work on their own uh, different levels of their imprints. That's so amazing. Yes, yes. That's so beautiful that you've been able to see that. We actually do work at the level of DNA and beyond, but I haven't mentioned it because, you know, if you can't measure or monitor it, people become skeptical, but it's very true that when you influence the mind programs and the energy, you actually influence the DNA and it shifts, yes. That's so Thanks amazing. For that. Yeah, and also as a uh, peace ambassador at Embassy of Peace, what are one's responsibilities and how you are operating that? Well, <laughs> the main responsibility is to maintain a state of peace within yourself, <laughs> to be able to convey that to people. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on for the last, the past 10 years. Uh, that's my main task. <laughs> but because you can't be a master of something if you don't master it yourself, right? <laughs> and above and beyond that, there's been these programs that I've been teaching since uh, 2013, the Pranic Process Online, uh, that is uh, helping people to maintain a um, purified body and a higher frequency here on earth, and therefore is generating a state of peace in them. And um, so teaching this program have hel has helped hundreds or even thousands of people to rebalance themselves, to go into a lighter diet, to go into a lighter mindset, to work with their emotions and relationships and to understand their role and mission here. That is not only going to a job, coming back, making love to your partner and falling asleep. It's much more than that, right? So um, people have stepped into their soul's mission. They have stepped into alignment with their life programming and now they're really following a higher path. And that's what the program has done for, for seven or eight years now. And also the campaigns that we've organized, uh, you know, with um, the humanitarian campaigns, the ecological campaigns are part somehow of that job, even though they haven't been under the umbrella of the Embassy of Peace. Whatever brings peace to the world and people to the smallest degree, like the people around you, the family, the loved ones, the friends, to a larger degree, like the thousands of people that I've been speaking and holding conferences to, all that is part of my job as a peace ambassador on this planet, yes. So how does one become a person like you, a peace ambassador? Cultivating peace within yourself. That's the first step. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so thank you. Following the, the eight steps of the running process online, would be a great start, you know, starting to work with yourself, starting to go in a lighter diet, a lighter mindset, and, uh, you know, going deeper into that state. That's that's the first step, of course. And then they, there are higher trainings that the Embassy of Peace is doing, but that's, that's something to be approached when you are in that state of peace yourself or, or 
coming closer to it. When maybe nobody is in a state of permanent peace all the time, you know, that would be uh, the Christed state. <laughs> but we yes. aim for it and we cultivate it more and more. And that would be a good start. Start cultivating that within yourselves. It's so nice, Christiana. And I do hear a lot of pranic healing, light healing or global energy healing. How do they help the uh, healing of the planet at this point of time? We are the planet. <laughs> we need to understand that we and planet are one. <laughs> That's the first step, right? When we feel separate from the planet, we start destroying it like we did for the past hundreds of years. When we start to understand that we are the planet, we are the very inhabitants of it, but not only inhabitants, our energy bodies are directly connected to the chakras of the planet that also has an energy body. Our physical system, the body of flesh and blood is made of the same elements like the body of Gaia. You have the same elements in your body, earth, water, fire, air, ether. You're made of the same things. Once you perturb, you derange, you um, make one of the elements of the planet malfunction, your body is gonna malfunction. That's a direct connection. So to understand that is the first step in helping the planet, to be aware that everything you throw out there is influencing the planet, therefore is influencing back your body instantly. Not over 50 years, not your children and grandchildren, it's you now that is being influenced by your deeds. <laughs> Hence the pandemic, right? Um, so understanding that is the first step, then, um, my work with the planet is I always envision it as part of me. I see the body of Gaia and the energy body and her consciousness as part of my consciousness. The, the more I work on myself, I work on the planet. When I go to uh, an energy vortex or a sacred site like the pyramids in Giza or the temples in, in, in India, where we organize uh, the trip of the sun in March. By the way, whoever wants to come with me and learn about these things, we have in March 9 to 11, uh, a retreat to a very important energy vortex or sacred site of India. It's not the usual temples that you know, the ones in, uh, you know, Kal Rao or, or Karnash or wherever people go and pray. It's a very rarely visited temple that has to do with uh, very with with cosmic beings and, and galactic and intergalactic connections it's far more than than a sacred human site right and we're visiting every year there and we're connecting deeper into the heart of gaia so whenever i go to such places sacred sites energy vortexes i don't do something to them I do to myself. I call my state, I align my chakras, I connect to the central sun and the heart of Gaia, and then something opens in that specific site, in that energy vortex. But it's generated from within my being. It's not something that I operate externally at, at, on, on, on an external place. I'm operating in my internal structure, and it influences the planet. So if all, if all of us would work with our chakras and our emotions and our energy field, the planet would be much more help, much helped. That's the main help that you can bring to Gaia. Work on yourself. You are, you are directly connected to Gaia. It will influence it, uh, her instantly. And you can help her a lot, actually, by working on yourself. So and, and less pollution. Less pollution, like don't drop your waste out there. That's not a garbage bin. That's your planet, your home. <laughs> you don't drop your garbage in your home all over the floor. Don't drop it in your forest. Don't drop it in your waters. Don't drop it in the air, right? It's your home. You're not, you're not gonna leave it until you're dead. So keep it clean, right? <laughs> it's logical, <laughs> yes. So whatever you have shared is very profound and it's like uh, we are inter interconnected to entire planet Earth and whatever we are giving to planet is giving to ourselves and vice versa also. Yes, yes. It's a direct connection. Like the way you're connected to your mother, right? When your mother gets ill, you feel imbalanced. The same is with the planet. 
we are not separate from mm-hmm. and I, i do see you have written a uh, book on dark room retreat how does this uh, energy calibration and what is it a uh, uh, significance help uh, a person dark room retreat that's a practice i love uh, that's something i've been doing in thailand um, i will open soon so that i go back can do it in various other places and uh, you know normal living conditions it's something the yogis the ancient yogis and the ancient chikung practitioners or tibetans were be, were doing in the caves back in the days so they would they had to face scorpions and snakes and various other uh this uncomfortable situations um and they would stay there for quite a few days or years to fine tune their systems now we have uh, facility uh, facilities with rooms where light isn't coming in and you can sit in the, those rooms and meditate and then have some energy practices and uh, uh have very little or no food or just juices and be in that state for maybe 7 or 10 days or 21 days in complete dark and that activates certain hormones like melatonin and DMT and helps you see the unseen <laughs> because your pineal is getting activated in a different way opening your third eye fine tuning your senses you become more sensitive you become more aware of the fields around you eventually i was able to move through people in pitch dark without hitting on anyone without bumping into the pillars of the room or bumping into objects because you start feeling the energy fields right you start or feeling like wait i'm approach approaching another solid object or a solid body and i'm feeling the energy of it so i'm going around it so that i don't bump into it and it's not only that awareness to become aware of all that is playing in that field maybe the emotions or thought forms of other people and how to manage your energy field in order to be in balance into all that noise right <laughs> energy noise i call it and you learn to maybe manage your sensitivity because the more your sensitivity enhances the more you have to manage it to not be affected by the emotions and thoughts of other people so it's a very important training and you you develop healing capabilities and uh, mm, energetic capabilities that are you know very very important for your development as a as a life being here on earth that's so nice how this dark room experience will enrich our extra sensory perceptions and everything in that field we will get to know this so, so amazing and so uh, we'll be having some in romania as well so people will be able to have that yeah because yeah. well. in romania so, there's been an ancient tradition of of dark room practice back in more than yes. 2000 years ago yeah so we list out all the links uh, below this video whoever is interested can go and check out the programs that christian christiana is offering and uh, can you also tell out uh, your target audience of the books you have other uh, so to to say about the books yes i'm making yes. sure i heard the question right uh, well since 2013 since i got out of the dark room i started writing I wish I did more of that <laughs> but I've written five books uh that are already published and the sixth and the seventh it's in the writing now and it's going to be published when it's ready uh when they're ready so the first book is about the experience I had in dark room it's actually called dark room retreat and you find it on Amazon the second one is about how to get to a lighter diet so I talk about vegetarianism veganism the three um, main uh, gunas you know uh, the sattva and um, the the other tamas tamas and rajas that are um, influenced by the foods and how you should pick your foods in order to generate ther- certain specific states in your body so then the food becomes an energetic information is not something just something solid that you're dropping into your mouth uh, so it's a conscious choice it becomes a conscious choice we're talking about handling your emotional states your mind states we're talking about our programs we're talking about 
all the methods that I've used or some of the methods that I use to balance myself and also about my therapies and what I've, a few tips and insights that I've extracted from some therapies that I've done. So it's a complex book, but it was written in a very simple way that everyone can understand for your self-help to your personal development. The third one that is uh, yet to be published in English, it's called uh, Your Harmony Woman. I'm gonna publish it soon. It's, uh, it's uh, in Romanian now. Um, and it's, it's uh, comprising all the tips and uh, insights to harmonize your feminine side. It's going through from diet to superfoods and plants to essential oils, to specific baths and pampering rituals, to um, how to be aware of uh, your emotional moods and your cycles, all those feminine tips that women really need especially nowadays to keep themselves in balance. So that book, it's coming up soon and uh, it's already in Romanian on Amazon. The fourth one is about miracles. It's called Believe in Miracles. And I've just written down just a few miracles or miraculous events that I've experienced because I know people need to believe in that and open up to more of that. So I've listed just a few in my book, just for to give people hope and belief and faith that if something like that can happen to a normal person like me, then it, it can happen to everyone. Uh, once you stay open to invisible realities or more than you see with your uh, two eyes, right? And last one that is in English now is uh, the Pranic World book. That's also on Amazon. The Pranic World book is describing various methods uh, of going into the Pranic state and various people who have achieved that state because we're coming from different star systems, different star lineages. So each one had his own particular method, right? Not everyone is the same. Not everyone has a, a, a recipe that you give to them and then you're no longer eating. So we're describing all these systems and the pranic experiences that I've had and the pranic festivals that I've been and the gatherings and some other scientific, um, very solid proof of pranic nourishment so that people can get a glimpse into this, this reality. So we're, we're, we're going through all things that I've experienced or learned in a nutshell, in that book, so that people can open up and learn about this possibility. And that's also in Kindle version, so it's easy to read. It's so mind blowing listening to all of the topics that you have discussed in the books. Maybe going forward, I can do book interviews with you uh, on a couple of your books. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. so much. Oh, my newest books will be, one is The Book of Love. It's it's channeled from Christ, Christ Consciousness and it's, written almost in verse or short phrases, but it gives very profound insights on love, basically tunes, it, tunes you into the frequency of love. Those of you who want to see insights from that book, just check on the Facebook page, The Book of Love. It has the Klimt, um, because maybe there's various pages. Mine has the Klimt kiss as the um, uh, profile picture. And there you find insights from and excerpts from the Book of Love. It's still in the making, but I'm I'm already publishing some phrases of it because it it brings people into that frequency, and I love to to do that. And the um, seventh one is the second edition or the second episode, if you will, of the Pranic World book. The first one was uh, Living Free from Hunger. This one is living free from fears. So we're writing about that now. It's going to be so published. amazing. So hopefully the books will deliver that divine unconditional love message to the humanity. Yes, yes. they are. <laughs> hopefully. And what is yes. yes? And what is your message to the viewers at Pyramid Times or to the whole world? Final message, parting message. Try to cultivate in you whatever opens, opens your heart, whatever keeps you into the frequency of love and open, openness and gratitude and awe. There's still beauty in this world. 
there's still hope and joy and love in this world. There's still light coming in more and more now as we tune into ourselves. This is a time of fine tunement and, and plunging deep into our divine self. Try to stabilize yourselves into that frequency and all that's necessary is coming to you as a consequence of that. That's my message. Thank you so much, Christiana, for wonderful uh, sharing today. It's uh, Thank you for inviting uh, beautiful me. spending time with you. It's indeed, it elevated uh, my consciousness in certain ways. And uh, truly grateful for all the contribution you are offering. I'm really grateful to meeting you. And hopefully, for the people that are watching and whoever feels called, check my Facebook page, Christiana El Trayan. Yes. Tomorrow we're having a very powerful meditation, global activation meditation for the portal of 1212. So maybe you want to join that. Please join that. <laughs> it's a good start to your personal uh, development and spiritual development. Then we have another powerful meditation on 21st of December. It's still a global meditation. You might want to stay tuned to my Facebook page or Instagram page to get the links to access that as well. And uh, on the 22nd of December, as we're preparing for Christmas, we're starting a pranic retreat, a pranic process online. So you can join that for eight days and be with us through Christmas and fine tune and purify and activate your systems for the Christed energy, the energy of Krishna and Buddha and Christ that has been an, on the planet embodied in these three representatives, but is also embodied in us. And we're activating and amplifying that for this Christmas Pranic Retreat. So all that you find on my um, website, soulhealingacademy.com slash events. So at the event section of the website, you find all of that. And you might want to join it if you're ready to, you know, upgrade. <laughs> That's, That's what so I invite you to do. But maybe see you tomorrow first. Sure, sure, definitely. We'll join the global meditation. Tomorrow, and, uh, 12 p.m. Bucharest time, 12 p.m. Romania time. That's when we're doing it, on the 12th 12. 12. Good, that's great. Um, and it's can 12, you... 12, 12 right now. <laughs> the hour in Romania is 12, 12 right now. It's so funny. Thanks so much. Yeah, so uh, that's a, a beautiful YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to also re-watching my interview. And of course, watch and subscribe and uh, check my YouTube channel, Christiana El Trayan as well. There's hit the, hit the notification bell over there to, to get all the, um, all the information and not miss one of the beautiful videos that these guys are doing. Thanks so thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, Christiana. Thank you. <laughs> Blessings to all. See you soon. <laughs>